back my friends to another Fallout 4 video and today we have something a little bit different. I thought I'd go ahead and bring you guys a guide on how you can get yourself pretty damn well geared up at the start of Fallout 4 from weapons to a few pieces of armor and even a unique weapon that you can find just to gear yourselves up properly at the start of Fallout 4. I know a lot of you guys out there are just getting the game for Christmas or maybe you're like me and are starting on a fresh playthrough. I'm currently on my third playthrough I believe. And there's a few locations that I missed and a few great looting areas that I thought I would share with you guys into one video for you today. Now, I do want to give quick credit to ESO. He is another Fallout 4 YouTuber who does awesome guides, rare weapons, and all that kind of good stuff. So make sure you check him out down in the description down below and uh, subscribe to his channel once again, linked down below. Hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get straight into this. So your journey in Fallout begins as soon as you leave the vault and the beauty of Fallout is that it puts you into the wasteland to do whatever the hell you like. You don't have to go to any specific location, uh, of course you do need to go there eventually to complete quests and stuff, but the beauty is you can go anywhere you like from the get go. So the first location that we are going to be going to is the robotics disposal ground. Most people will go to Sanctuary first, but for whatever reason, I decided to go here first. It doesn't really matter either way, you know, you can go to Sanctuary first and then come here. It really isn't that too far away. It's just a little bit of a walk down and you'll end up at this location. Now, before you leave the vault area itself, you'll find a few containers and boxes along the ground and stuff uh, that you may want to loot. They do contain some medical supplies that you may want to get from early. But once you're heading down to the location, once again, you can find it right here on your map. Uh, here is the destination, literally just to the left of the vault uh, that you start off in. You'll end up going through the back entrance of the disposal ground itself. And just as you enter the back entrance, uh, where the kind of split in the fences, to the left on top of the vehicles, you'll find yourself a fat man ready for you guys to pick up, literally at level 1. Now you can find some ammo for this, or at least one mini nuke for this, at the front entrance of the, dis uh, of the disposal ground. Uh, so if you go ahead and make your way to the front entrance, to the right side, inside of the tires, or by them, you'll find a mini nuke that you guys can pick up. Now for me, this was actually trapped. I had to kind of keep jumping on it and stuff to try and get it to kind of wedge itself out. And uh, as you can see, in the end up, I did end up doing that. And then eventually picking up the mini nuke. Make sure you save that for a rainy day though, because mini nukes are kind of hard to come by when you first start off the game. Now, some other things you can do around this area, if you go ahead and go by the sentry by itself, you'll find a steamer trunk that you can actually loot and that does have a few items in it. And if you head into the building itself, you'll find a few things in here as well. From a hot rodder magazine, which is basically a paint job for your power armor when you eventually get through the game, uh, you'll end up picking up different types of power armor. And this paint job is actually one of my favorites. It's the flaming paint job that you can get on any piece of power armor that you decide to put this on. And in general, the rest of the items in this room just kind of contain junk items that you can pick up and they're safe for a rainy day, maybe for when you're trying to upgrade certain pieces of armor or weapons, those items may come in handy for you. The next location that we're going to be heading down to, of course, is Sanctuary itself. Now, granted, you're going to be going here at the start of the game anyway, but there's a location that I missed at the start of the game that provides quite a few pieces of loot that you guys may, in fact, want to pick up. Now, as soon as you cross the bridge into Sanctuary, if you go ahead and take a left and keep going through all of the garden areas of the houses, all the way until you reach the house at the back of Sanctuary, behind there, you will find the root cellar. Go ahead and enter inside and you'll find quite a few things laying about inside of here from a wooden crate where you'll be able to find some supplies and there'll be supplies all over the place as well from purified water to canned food but the main things inside of here is a safe that you can't really unlock at an early level and you do have to have advanced lock picking to actually get this so you can come back here at a later date if you do wish to but the main thing inside of here is the three gold bars and these can be sold for 450 at default price which is a decent amount of caps to be making at the very start of the game. So it's maybe something that you want to keep a hold of just in case you're in need of some caps. And it's definitely something to keep in mind when going down into this location. Now at this point, you can probably go ahead and loot the rest of the houses inside of Sanctuary. That's something that I'm presuming most of you guys would have already done at this point. And there's quite a few awesome things that you can find in there from a special book lying down on the floor. Uh, which if you want to check out the location for that, you can find it linked down in the description down below. Uh, that will permanently increase one of your special points by one, which is pretty awesome there. And uh, once you've looted the rest of the sanctuary, go ahead and head outside and then cross over the bridge. 
Across the bridge itself, you'll find a dead Raider on the floor, and on the dead Raider, you will find the double barrel shotgun. He will also have some ammo and various other pieces of loot uh, that you may be interested in picking up as well. But that's just another weapon that you can get at the very early stages of the game. Uh, from there, you may want to head up to the top uh, towards the copper statue here, literally just to the left of the area. And uh, you'll find a duffel bag that also has a few pieces of loot in it uh, that you may also want to pick up as well. But the main reason we cross the bridge is to find the pump. To find the pump, you want to follow the stream all the way along at the edge once again across the bridge at this point, uh, going to the same location that I'm going to here. And after a while, you will come across the pump with a circuit breaker on top of it. Go ahead and flip that circuit breaker, then follow the pump all the way up the hill itself, and you'll come across this yellow box. At this point, you can now go ahead and open up the little kind of panel at the side of the yellow box, and this will drop out three different cap stashes for you guys. Now, granted, it's not the best amount of caps to get, or not the greatest amount, but it is good for a start off, especially in those beginning stages when you are in need of caps uh, in general. Another good thing from this location is the powerful 44 Snub Nose Pistol. This is a very powerful weapon to get at the start of the game. Of course, later on in the game itself, you may not end up using this, but for a good start off, uh, you can find the pistol lying there next to the dead body with some ammo waiting there for you to pick up as well. Now, the next location is literally by the Red Rocket Truck Stop. This is where you'll get um, dog meat, of course. Uh, once again, this is literally just across the bridge from Sanctuary. And we're going to be taking a look to the right side of the truck stop, exactly where the water tower is. If you go ahead and approach the water tower itself, just at the base of it, you'll find a few medical supplies there in the box, as well as a bunch of purified water, uh, which is always good to pick up at the start of the game, you know, just before you actually start making it uh, for yourselves. And if you take a look, just the left you should find a green trunk in the ground uh, that you guys can go ahead and loot which for me had the pipe rifle inside plus ammo uh, as well as a piece of leather armor but for you I do believe this may in fact be a little bit different nevertheless if you are feeling a little bit adventurous at this point you may want to head out and get the gainer magnum which is a unique version of the magnum that sets your targets on fire and it's definitely a great weapon to pick up uh, towards the earlier stages of the game now the reason why i'm bringing this specific unique weapon into this is because it really is so easy to actually obtain now it is a little bit of a walk from sanctuary itself uh, you can see here is the destination on the map so it is quite a bit of a walk uh, still in those upper portions of the map though but you can literally walk here and just literally avoid any enemies that you come across in fact i ended up walking here from the start of the game at like level two and I didn't come across anything that actually got in my way going to this location. So it's something to keep in mind. You may want to go here, you know, at level 3 to 4 to 5 or 6 or something. Or you may want to go here at level 1. Either way, this one is very easy to obtain. Once you eventually get to this location, bear in mind it is a secondary location. So it won't pop up on the map or anything uh, saying that you've arrived here or anything like that. You want to head into this specific building and eventually you'll come across another door where you'll find yourself inside of the pump house. Inside of here, you'll find a machine up against the wall with a bunch of buttons that you can press on it. And each of these buttons correspond to a column where you'll need to put in a code. You'll find the code just behind you on the wall being 0451, as you can see there. Now, the code is actually 10451. There isn't a zero on the machine. Uh, so instead of putting a zero, you're essentially going to be pressing the first button 10 times uh, to bring up 10. The next one four times to bring up four. The next one five times to bring up five and then the next one one time to bring up one of course importing the code correctly there once you've done that the door will now open make your way inside and on the skeleton on the floor next to him you will find the gainer magnum go ahead and pick that up that is the unique weapon itself and you'll also find a trunk next to him which you can also loot and i'll find some goodies inside of there as well and that pretty much wraps it up for this video today. Once again, I just thought I'd bring you guys kind of like a mini guide uh, for some of the players you can go to just to get some decent loot and decent weapons and armor and stuff like that. When starting off in Fallout, whether it's your second playthrough or your first playthrough as you've just got the game for Christmas or something, hopefully this video has helped you guys out here today. If you did or you did enjoy the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. Subscribe if you guys are new around for Fallout guides similar to this one from top 5 rare weapon guides to top 10 rare weapon guides, unique armor guides, and many more that you guys will catch on the channel in terms of Fallout 4. But anyway, once again, hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.